trying to link me to drugs, huh? You know I don't do drugs. Drugs are destroying this country. Isn't that right? That's right. Mr. Falcon, you really can't expect the public to believe these denials. Oh, come on, Martin. You can't prove anything, all right? Your audience isn't going to buy these unsubstantiated allegations. Isn't that right, Sal? That's right. Hey, John, we've got some action coming out of the police band. We'll get to work off these choppers. All right, let's cut it here. Okay, guys, let's get these choppers. I think I'm gonna have to get me a good public relations man. You know what I mean, Sal? No, you don't know what I fucking mean. You guys never know what I fucking mean. You guys are fucking holding me back here. The fuck? This is a new day and age here, Sal. We can't fuck around. The old ways don't work anymore. I gotta get a new fucking image here.
Are you on tonight? Yeah, I'm doing a follow-up on that big drug bust I got this morning. Oh, I like that. That's a pretty good piece. Are your ratings up? Yeah. I don't know. It's the most depressing story I've ever done. Huh, I could have told you that. I mean, I told you that in college. The news is a downer. Well, you got something there. I mean, if the ratings are up, Marty. I mean, I gotta admit, I... I don't have shit going on. I mean, I need somebody hot. What about your political plans? Campaign's over. I mean, the election's done. That's it. I got nobody good. Yeah. Natasha, will you send him in, please? Thanks. Mr. Barrett, how do you do? I'm John Falcone. Mr. Falcone, nice to meet you. Why don't you have a seat? Well, actually, I didn't come here to mince words. To tell you the truth, I have an image problem. <laughs> yes. I'm aware of it. You may also be aware that I have a rather vast corporate empire with many legitimate businesses. This, this public image thing is beginning to get in my way. And you want me to solve this problem? This, this whole Italian-American mafia thing is a thing of the past. So what would you like me to do precisely? I've been studying you. I feel that you're the best. I want you to reinvent my image. I want you to create an entire public relations campaign for me. Okay. It's an interesting proposition. You're a fairly unusual client. I'd like to think about it. Give me a day, and I'll get back to you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Natasha, would you uh, get me some files on John Pelton? Let's do some research. I want to find out what he's all about. Godfather. It's been too long. That's because you don't even come around, not even to my house, not even on the 4th of July. I was in consultations with my attorneys, and I have, you know, this business to run. You know how. Enough! I hate excuses. I'm sorry, Godfather. You're dealing too much in drugs. Well, I've been lucky. I mean, a few outside sources have come through. Your way, John. The country's coming down on drugs. That could hurt the family. Abish. I understand, Godfather. There's a certain balance, a certain proper way of doing business that we must maintain. The Dons are concerned that you are putting too much merchandise on the street. Do you know anything about the ship being hit? Yeah, it sounds like someone from the outside. Could have been from the outside. It could have been anyone. It could have been you! I'm happy with my position in the family, Godfather. I'm cutting you off on the Columbia Connection. I want you to concentrate on the unions for now. I'm giving the drug business to Petrarch. You understand? Driver, pull over. It's good to see you. Thanks for taking the time to see me, Godfather. Hi, honey. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Ma. Ma, how are you? Oh. What are you working on? Oh, it's something for modern female. Time is it? I'm starving. It's good. Well, I don't have any chow, but I got some champagne. What's the occasion? Mm -hmm. I had a very momentous day at the office. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's your latest coup? Well, I'm tackling the biggest project in my life. And perhaps the toughest. Who? John Falcone. <laughs> Come on, don't laugh. <laughs> You're not serious. I am serious. John Falcone. John Falcone is a mafia boss. He's a mobster. He's an extremely successful businessman. If he was a mob boss, they'd have him in jail by now. Some things are common knowledge. Come on, Melissa. You've got the average person's perspective on this, and so did I, until I met with them. We had them checked out. Now, I'm going to get people to look past the facade and see the man. You know, this is what I do for a living. Public relations. It's a big gamble, but I'm taking it. I just think it's a little too much of a gamble. Don't worry about it. I can handle it. This guy can't touch me. I'm gonna open the shop. Don knows we're moving a lot of product. How do you know that? He knows. He's making noise about cutting me off. He can't do that to you. Yes, he can. We got two choices. Either we get slapped down, we get in line and take our place, <laughs> and then goes back to the way it was. Or we do something whacked out. Something he won't expect. Like what? We go to the source. We take over the Colombian operation. The Colombian operation? We can't do that. What do we know from South America? We got no people down there. The Don's gonna find out. That's precisely the point. The Don can't find out. What are you talking about? Salo's fucks down there are always killing each other. There's always some kind of war going on. Now, I want you to find out that mercenary that Fischetti used. We'll take that fucked up army of his and we'll make it look like a local squabble. <laughs> and we'll come out clean. Huh? Trust me. You, my friend, have a lot of balls going up against the dawn. Yeah, well, sooner or later, things gotta change.
you want. I want the trails. No. No way, man. No way. I'm after some product, the man said. All right. Who? Vince Petrock. No fucking way. There's no fucking way, Blondie. Hey, now look, buddy. You don't understand. I got a lot of cash with me. You take me to your source. We'll set this thing up. All right. Maybe. Maybe. I get Grenadero. Okay, man, this is where I has to stop. Damn it, Vince Petraka to see you. Hello, guys. 
my father. My deepest respect. Exactly. Yes. Thank you for taking the time to meet with me, young father. Always good to see you, Vince. I know a freak here. I have something very serious on my mind. A matter of great import to me. You may speak freely here. Not far. I now know the man responsible for undermining my shipments and attacking my source in Colombia. You speak. And I'm guessing here. John Falco. He's interfering with my business, my legitimate business, which is sanctioned by you. This is a direct insult to me, Godfather. He wants my territory, and I cannot sit idly by. Godfather, I ask your permission to do what I must do. This has gotten out of hand. He brought this trouble on himself. This permission you have. Thank you. Out of respect, I must tell his father. Well, thank you, Godfather. hear who I've got on deck as my new client? Yeah, I've heard. Well, what do you think? You want the truth? Oh, come on. It's gonna be fun. The guy's a genuinely nice guy. Hey, the guy is a vicious killer. I mean, uh, I admit he's got a glib manner with the press, but... He's not like that. He is my hottest client, though. Now, you gonna look at the tape I brought? Come on. Let's look at the tape. Now watch this, will you? He comes across just like the chairman of the board. All right, he's smart, I admit. But come on, look, he's a, he's a wise guy all the way. Marty, John Falcone is a complex individual. I've got to be able to get out there and show both sides of the story, just like you. Now come on, cut me some slack on this one. That's all I'm asking. This is my biggest challenge yet, this client. I've been trying to nail this guy for a long time. The Mafia's old news. Nobody cares. Now, I like that drug problem thing you're doing. The ratings are up, the people are loving it. Why don't you stick with the drug problem series? Hey, Falcone is the drug problem. You just don't get it, do you? No, I don't. Listen, I gotta go. Your wife called. She wanted four tickets to the tennis. I got them for you. Have a good time, okay? Now keep the tape. I want you to think about it, all right? Take it easy. I'll see you around. Now watch the tape. See you, Marty. We have been given the man's permission 
which I did not expect. But Don is a wise man. He knows we can't afford to have a mad dog on the loose. It's bad for everybody. How could Charlie's son turn out like this? What's the matter now? You gotta get him where it hurts. Grab him by the coyons, huh? We need to call up state and Jersey. We can't put together enough muscle down here. True. All right. But this, like everything else, will have a price. A price is too high to see that fox head on a pole. Which I will do personally. Business. John, it's okay. I mean, it hurts us, but we can make adjustments. I didn't think it was gonna come to this. I didn't think that Don would allow it. He's got too much at stake to break the status quo. We gotta stop this fucking around. What we gotta do is take the truck out. Consider it done, because I got a man on the inside there. We'll hit him right now. You don't get it, do you? We gotta hit the Don. With Petraco out of the way, he can't leave us alone. You know what you're doing, we're getting involved in a mob war now, the press is going to come down on us real hard. Don't worry, I got that figured out. Don't worry about the press. Let's look alive, guys. Good morning, Alice. John Falcone's coming in today, everybody. Let's look alive. Come on. Right here. Hello, Wally. Hey, Wally, draw up the standard contract, will you? It's another day. Natasha, send in everything you got. Oh. I was keeping it under my coat to keep it warm, huh? What the fuck you got here, Tony? Chicken with cashews. Oh, chicken with cashews? I told you chicken with broccoli. You did? Yeah, not cashews. Broccoli. Oh, I thought you said cashews. No. Shit. Fuck it, man. Fuck. Listen, you take them out, you put them on the side of the bag, you know? Yeah. I don't like them either. Oh, all right, fuck it. Just go ahead. Fucking trying to make shit with mine. Chicken with broccoli. Sorry, 
times are gonna go off. One o'clock. Good. Everybody, this is Mr. John Falcone. Well, I, <laughs> I see that you have your uh, entire team assembled here. Does this mean you'll be rendering a favorable decision and uh, pick up the challenge of creating my new public image? It does. Team. Oh, right. Welcome, Mr. Falcone. John, I want to tell you a little bit about what we're going to do okay. and how we're going to set this up. And let me introduce you to everybody here at the Great. table. Um, I better warn you, you better get your checkbook ready. <laughs> uh, Already, huh? Yeah, I've got Marguerite here. She's in charge of Flam. So that's where those checks are going to be written to. She's going to give some thanks to the homeless. We want to make sure that you are seen as a real humanitarian, a man who really cares about things. It's all part of the same effort. And it's all thought out. We're worried about your image, and you've got to change it, and you've got to let us do it, okay? So if she says red ties, blue ties, new suits, you're with her. Okay. Make sure you're always looking good. So this is the team, and they're going to be with you like shadows. And you've got to trust us and work with us, and that's the only way I work. Mr. Petrarco, I'm just going to put a little more soap, and it's soap in your beard. Yeah. The parlor's not even open. Is, is it? I think he's got another five minutes. Sure. I just want to put this last bed in. I'll be right back in my view. I think you got a girlfriend, Guido. How the fuck are you? Oh. Hey, Todd. Listen, I was, uh, meaning to say, if I didn't before, um, thank you for the welcome you gave me. Oh, you're sure. welcome. Well, that's how we do things around here, John. This should make a nice union between yourself and the uh, man with a new image. Good, <laughs> good, very good. Um, before we go to lunch, I was uh, wondering if you'd like to do a bump or something. You know what? Oh. Um. Yeah, okay. Well, let's try it. Right? A little celebration, I suppose. A little celebration of um, we found relationship and um, but I think it'll turn out to be a nice friendship. Absolutely. Let's build that. I don't know where we'll be here. Let's... Right. Let's get that other nostril too while we're at it. Got it. Got it. It's good stuff. Yeah. Got a few musician friends, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess. What you keep? Oh no, then that's no, okay. Go no, ahead. Really. Go ahead. Oh. All right. Look, let's uh, run a little late. Let's go to lunch. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We've got that lunch date. Let's. Okay. Okay. What's with this? 
Please. Ah, let him go. You know, it's this town, Todd, I gotta tell you. And you know what it is about this town? It's the women. They oh. are the most beautiful in the world, bar none. It's like a, they have an international flavor here. Every kind you could possibly want. Like a regular smorgasbord, huh? One second, will you let me make a phone call? I'll be right All right. Vince Petraco, please. Now you can. He's in the chair. Just get him, all right? Vince, it's for you. Oh, who is it? I don't know. He didn't say. You want me to ask him? It's not okay. Yeah. Vince! Falcone? Yeah, this is John Falcone here. Fuck you on. Look, I just wanted to make sure, Vince, that my voice was the last you ever heard. Got it? Bye, Vince. Hector, he's one. Down to business now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You two Colombians are taking some fucking chance coming here to America. I am not a Colombian. I am from Caracas, Venezuela. Very different size. Uh, easy mistake for you to make. You were hit by outsiders. Why are you coming to me? You know why, man. You know why. Your postcard got after him being yellow, okay? I know who stole from me. I know who killed my men. I hear things, okay? It was John Falcone, okay? And I'm gonna fucking chop his head off! Wait a couple of days. I'll personally straighten this out. No, no way, man. No. You are a man of respect. I can see that. But I will not rest. Until Juan Falcone is dead, no one fucks with me. We gonna. It's you. That fucking Falcone's gone too far. Why does he disrespect me? He fucked up our source. He's gonna have to pay the price. Nobody touched those Colombians. You might get to him. Fucking crazy. Everybody knows that. I can't control. Mason! Bang, your three minutes is on. Hey, listen, you gotta lose a few pounds. I can't let you go in here looking like that. You look like a slob. 
Oh, come on! Hey, look. When you win the nomination, you can do whatever you want. Right now, you're in my hands, okay? Look, I gotta go. Bye. He's wearing the blue suit. I told you not to let him wear the blue suit. Oh, look at him. He looks like hell. Rockstar 4-9? Hey, look. What are you doing getting to fight the flame? Hey, it's going to page six. It's not my fault. All right, I gotta go. Bye. It's a great and glorious evening, and I'd like to welcome Mr. John Falcone. Uh, John was nice enough to give a $100,000 donation today to the Healthy Fund. So let's have a big warm applause for Mr. John Falcone and his generous contribution. Also, thanks to John's help, the Teamsters donated all their time, all 146 of them, to lighting the train tonight. So John, thank you very much. The city loves you. Thanks a lot. Why don't you say something to the crowd? It's Christmas time, and uh, I just happen to be in the spirit of giving. All right, he's a shy man. Thanks, everybody. John, thank you very much. Isabel, we can take this. I need three minutes. Go out there and deal with that thing. Keep everyone out of there. I need three minutes to do my exercise. That's all I need. I gotta get pumped. I'm feeling lousy, all right? Thank you. No, 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 I'll, no, 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 I need three minutes, okay? to the union, you were the man. When it was time to move into the garment center, again, Charlie, you were there. Your son brought new blood to this family. He made a name for himself. He made you proud. But your son, John Balcon, does not sit at this table with his father, his uncle, he sits in some television studio, smiling for those vultures scums. Suddenly, he's Joe Hollywood. He calls attention to himself. And that is not how I do business. Well, John Falcon's number is up. Frank. Please, he's my son. This has gotten way out of hand. Your son is out of control. You'll always have a place here, Charlie. As long as you don't interfere. And I know you won't. Isn't that right, Joe? I'd like you to meet a couple of lady friends of mine. Linda. Hi, please. And Janice. Hello. It's a pleasure. And which one of you is Mrs. Falcone? <laughs> she wishes. So, where is your wife tonight? She's uh, in Atlantic City. <clears throat> Are you married? Yes, I am. So where's your wife? She's home. So, where are we going tonight? Well, Todd was nice enough to get us some tickets to the Met. I wanted to go dancing. I told her that we were going to go out dancing. Yeah. Well, 
We're not. So shut up, Linda. Fix me a drink. Sorry. You know, Todd, I really am glad I hooked up with you. It's time for us to start using some of these contacts you have in the television, radio, and newspaper business. Thanks, John. Well, that's uh, plan B. That's where we're going with this thing, and we're going to choose a couple of the right TV stations and some of the papers we're interested in. I mean, these fucking press vultures, these fucking pig fuckers, it's time for them to start working for John here. You know they are fucking parasites anyway, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, that, we're, we're moving along, John. Yeah. Well, go ahead, Mario, all right? Let's go, huh? Linda, where's my drink? Please? <laughs> Some people. Yeah, who? Some fox who killed some friends of mine. You believe that? You believe anybody will show me disrespect? They'll be sorry. Oh, you know it. Baby, you know it. Baby, you know it. Are you feeling good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do this, man. Do this. Come on. You want to feel better? You wait right here. I'm gonna take care of you, okay? Because I like you. You stay right here. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, baby. I got the medicine for you. You ever do this before, huh? You no. Know? The first time for everything. Suck it cool, honey. That's the way, baby. Yeah. Oh yeah, keep oh, it in. Keep it in your oh, nose, baby. In. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 All okay. Right. Huh? Yeah, feeling good. Now, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Give it, man. Give me this. Fuck with my family. Hey man, nothing, nothing. Nothing. Fuck with my family. You don't want to say that. So you looking at my daughter again? I'll kill you. Don't want to say that to me, man. No, fine, man. You're a guest here. Hey, shut the fuck up, man. It's between me and him. What the heck? Why do you hang out with such a bender? Like, don't call me from man. Don't call me that, man. I am playing with you. Come on, man. You want me? I'm standing here. You want a piece of me? Yeah, I want you. Hey, come on, man. Oh. Forget about it. Come on, get the fuck away from come me, on, man. man. Get the come fuck on. Out. You want to face this too, man? Huh? Huh? Come man, on, take man. this money. Get on out the fuck of this house. Give me a break, okay? He lost some friends. Don't get, make them, excuses, get him the no, fuck man. out of here. You don't know. make excuses for me, man. What you say for the beginning, right? Something. You with me or you awake? What? It's Falcon coming now. Where? I'm going in the door. Oh shit, my motherfucker. 
Cool. What you gonna win, man? I got him. Gonna I shoot him, bro. Hey, don't man. shoot him. Yo, 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 Yeah, his fans. Uh, I don't know. What's he talking about? Tell, tell me. Tell me. What we got going today, Tony? They're moving some product downstairs. A big thing like this. You know, nothing too much. But a couple of things I'm going to do.
Channel 6 News, Martin Spoofson. Okay. Where did we get this? Uh, one of the PAs picked it up on 48th Street. And it's real? Oh, yeah, it's real. Let's get rid of it. All right, let's get to the next location. All right. You're close up? Yeah, not close up.
John Falcone. They're all over the fucking place. Come on. You know, if we make the opening of the Met, uh, I can orchestrate an impromptu press conference for you. Maybe that's a good time for you to announce that your gift of the charity drive. Wait, 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 wait. wait. All right. Now we switch to Martin's Martin Bruce for more on his special reports. There was an attempt on the life of crime overlord Guillermo Ricci today. Law enforcement sources tell me they are investigating ties to rival crime boss John Falcone. Will you listen to this fucking guy? denied any ties to any criminal activity. Why does he get off trying to implicate me in this? I mean, there's libel laws in this country. Well, uh, that's a setback. For Channel 6 News, Martin Spusty. Um, I can issue a statement it's countering the allegations, the and uh, I'll really take the offense. Fuck that. You know this guy. I want you to go talk to him. John, you know, I can't do that. Can't. Frankly, frankly, the request is a little out of line. God damn it, I hired you to reshape my image. Now this cocksucker comes along and fucks up everything you've already done. I want you to just go tell him to lay off. I make myself clear? Hey, I'll talk to him, all right. No, not talk to him. Tell him to lay off. Hey, Morty. You don't even come in here. It's about Falcone. Come on, man. I gotta talk to you. I just think you're being unfair, that's all. I mean, you're breathing down his neck. You can't substantiate half this stuff. Hey, look, I'm an investigative journalist. I do the news. I mean, what do you think is going on here? Marty, I know. The guy is a criminal. I know. Drugs, uh, racketeering, extortion, prostitution. Murder. It's my fucking job to expose the truth. But it's your job to cover it up. I'm not asking you to, you know, do anything unethical or anything. But man, you've got him on every night. I mean, can't we do something else? What about all the crime in City Hall? Anything. I mean, you're making it really difficult for me, that's all. I thought we were buddies. Sorry, man. All right, all right, fine. I get the picture. Thanks, Marty. What's this about? It's kind of like an exclusive interview. It's in a dress. I want you to be there. I didn't ask for any interview. Marty, come on. What is this? Where's Falcon? Skip. Hey, what is this? I'm a broadcast journalist. I knew my camera crew. I didn't uh, agree to anything like this. Yo, forget about it. We're taking you to see Falcone. Then you call your camera crew, all right? It's gonna be all right, Marty. Everything's gonna be fine. Just put on your seatbelt. Do me a favor, okay? Are you kidding? No, come on. I get caught. It's gonna be two points off my license. Put it on. Strap yourself in nice and snug. 
You only got your best interest at heart. What if I get in an accident? Mr. Falcon wants to see you, huh? Look at him. You ready? Everybody ready? He said, play. Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! What is this shit? I don't know. It seems stupid. It's a murder. No. I don't know. We interrupt our regularly scheduled program to bring this special report. We at Channel 6 are deeply saddened to announce the death of one of the charter members of our news team, Martin Spoosty. Martin Spoosting's body was found tonight at 9 p.m. This is terrible. Police officials at the scene have hinted that the circumstances of his death may in fact be suspicious. Although at this time, there is no mention of foul play. John Falcone there. This is Todd Barrett. Jesus Christ, John! It's a little bit late for this, isn't it? Todd Barrett, how you doing? Yeah, well, it's a little bit late. Know, what are you I calling know. me for? John, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how our uh, contract is working out. I don't feel that uh, I'm doing a very good job of uh, delivering what you. Uh, wanted me to in the way of uh, publicity. But I like the publicity, all right? I think you're doing great. 
I just don't feel I can deliver, and I think that maybe it's time for me to terminate my services with you. I think you could probably do better with somebody else. Target seven is wrong now, all right? Why don't you give us a please, and we'll talk about it tomorrow, okay? No, I don't think we have anything to talk about, John. Barrett! Good night. Hey, Barrett! Show me how much you like Mr. Falcone. Come on. <laughs> See that? You make Mr. Falcone proud that you work for him now. Where are we? You're home. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> Move it, you fuck. <laughs> Go on. Move it. <laughs> his heart's gonna leap out of his fucking chest. That was pure shit. <laughs>
Some way without pain to you, I promise you. All his life, I treated him with kick gloves. Just because of his father. But John Balcon is not satisfied. He wants to be the big man. Because of him, I gotta testify in front of the grand jury next week. I found this fuck snooping around outside. Says he wants to talk to you. I saw you. Where do you want? Uh, I, uh, I need your help. You need my help? I thought you worked for Falcone, teaching him how to smile and do dog tricks for television cameras. Falcone. He's got my wife. And he's gonna kill her. That's your problem. Why should I help you? I'll kill Falcone. I'll take the heat. Just get me in there. I don't care. I'll kill him. I don't give a shit anymore. Do what army? Hey, come on. You gotta be kidding. I see the blood in this man's eyes. He made us an interesting proposition. You should consider accepting his help. Hey, Sal. Get this guy some heat. Thanks. Take care. Come on. Try and keep this guy alive. He can. He might have some juice for him.
gonna send you up to Falcone's office. That's where it'll be. I'm gonna go downstairs, check out where the other guys are. Don't do anything until I'm ready. You got it? You hear the lead start flying, you make your move. Yeah. All right. Sylvia, I can't. I told you that before. I can't. All right? Just take the limo and take your mother with you and go to Atlantic City. You'd have the balls to come after me. The fuck are you doing? Fuck! What are you crazy?
Anything else in here? If you're looking for Falcone, he left already. So you're the wife. Who are you? Mickey McCall. Uh, let me get you out of this thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, hurt you. He didn't do nothing. I see you in your night even. No. Before I got you out of bed. Okay, uh, I want you to do something. I want you to, you know, get the fuck out of here, okay? Do you care for it? Here you go. I want you to take the car. Is Todd okay? Okay, we got something to do. They didn't, they didn't hurt you, did they?
I'll make a corner. Right. Turn it back. Turn it around. Turn it. I'm gonna lie to you. Do you see him? Got so many shit on the windshield like this. I see him. Got him, him. Yes. All right. There he is. Yes. Fucking left. Ah. Right. Fuck. Right toward. Ah. It's not 100 percent though. I'm just glad this whole thing's over, you know. Yeah, that's good. Okay. There's something I gotta ask you. Talk to me. How can I ever repay you? Maybe Falcone had a point. Times are changing. Maybe I need to improve my public image. Start worrying about the way I look. Especially after the beating I took upon the grand jury. I don't know. I mean, after all that's happened to me, I can't go back into that business. I think you're unclear about a couple of points. What do you mean? Yeah, but not that you're working full time for me. You don't have to worry about nothing. You're part of the family, kid. Keep smiling. 